I would say I've always been very motivated to make it to Homer One, um, but this test, if anything, has boosted that and increased the hunger. So let's dig in further in the tests. What did you learn today in Formula One in the car with Alpine, working with a larger operation with a lot more data? Uh, what did you learn that you can actually take back to your key Formula Two campaign? Obviously, I think um, the work ethic is very professional here. There's not much time to waste and people are very on, on the point and, and you know, we're all here for a job and it's a very professional atmosphere. The engineers have been, like I said, very, uh, very good. I felt very prepared going into the first run and that's all thanks to them and getting me up to speed. Obviously, a lot of feedback and a lot of setting differences. You can change a lot on the steering wheel. So you can actually tweak how the car feels through the run, which obviously in F2, it's unheard of. You can't do anything. But uh, yeah, obviously different warm-up procedures and, and a lot of procedures on the engineering side as well. So I learned a lot um, in terms of you know, getting that first taste of F1 and seeing the difference um, between Formula 1 and Formula 2. And that first taste that was great and I think we, we accomplished everything we set out to do and for me it was a very successful first day. What came easier and what actually took a bit longer for you to get? These tests are very tricky uh, in the sense F1 cars are very sensitive to wind temperatures. So lap time wise, it's not our main focus really on, on days like this. It's maximizing what you have and, and feeling comfortable and confident with the car and uh, finishing the run plan and, and giving good feedback. That's what engineers look for. And I think that's what we did really well today. And we ran to our run plan and, and I felt like I was pushing the limits by the end of the day, which is the most important thing. So I felt good and, and uh, the team also were really happy with everything. Yeah, I guess you also brought the car back in one piece, which is, which is also critical on days like this. So how has Kush's performance been on an overall sense of... He's been good, yeah. He's been very, very sharp to, to pick up things and uh, executing the test program and the procedures uh, very well. He seems very happy in the car as well. So uh, it's always a, a good, especially the first one, the proper one is, is going to be a special one. For yeah, I, I could see him like smiling year to year from the helmet, literally. <laughs> but uh, anything you can reveal about lap times? Uh, we, we were they competitive? We, we, we haven't really pushed for lap times at the moment. It's all about giving him time in the car, getting used to the environment at this point. So we're not really pushing for, for lap times here. And, and what do you think Kushin's key strengths are as a driver? I, I think he's, he's quite consistent. That's very good feedback. He doesn't go on for too long. He keeps it very concise on what he feels and what he needs. So I think that that's, that's quite a good quality to have for, for him. So when you go back to racing in Formula 2 in Barcelona, the car will seem slower, right, in, all of, in a lot of ways. But any areas that you found out today where you could actually work harder even in your Formula 2 journey, thanks to your F1 exposure? Yeah, I think um, seeing how professional the atmosphere is here, um, seeing how, how much in detail we go into, and um, there's a lot I can take. Like I said, I'm learning every day, even in the Formula 2 car. There's always things to learn, always things to better. Obviously, going back into the F2 car is going to feel a bit slower, but there's, like I said, an experience like this just opens your eyes to so many things, which previously they probably weren't open to, and thankful that I, I got this experience. So you've done something you've always dreamed of. Is there a before F1 test course and an after F1 test course? Are you the same person? Because clearly this has been a very momentous uh, step in your career. I would say I've always been very motivated to make it to home one. Um, but this test, if anything, has boosted that and just uh, increased the hunger for me to deliver. So I have another opportunity to hopefully race one of these one day. So final question, what's next for you on your Formula One journey? Learning as much as I can. I think everyone in this team who are testing me today has so much knowledge 
just uh, being around them and asking them questions and uh, learning more and more is, is amazing. There's a great crew of engineers downstairs and mechanics and uh, it's, uh, you know, I've learned so much today, which is the main, the main thing for me. Would you know when the next testing day is? Something Indian motorsport fans can look forward to? It's uh, soonish. I'm not sure yet, but it's after the next three races for sure in F2. So that's my immediate focus now uh, is to get back to where we should be in Formula 2. And uh, yeah, obviously looking forward to, to the F1 days, but not getting carried away yet. I like how you're grounded. Wish you all the best. We'll keep tracking and following you and all the best for your for yet another debrief that you need to be a part of. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.